Hi everyone. You're about to sign up for Time Fusion, and I want to give you a quick overview of how to find the three fields that the, th the values for the three fields you'll need to enter when you submit your, your registration for Time Fusion. The first of those fields is the Infusionsoft app name. This is uh, a, a value that's readily found if you are logged into your Infusionsoft account. You'll see it's in the URL of the account. It's in my case, my app name is SD. One two three, and then the rest of the URL is .infusionsoft.com. If you'll go to when you're logged into Infusionsoft, if you'll look into the address bar of your browser, you'll find a field there too. It will be different than SD123, but it will uh, be something, and that's the value you'll want to uh, fill in right here for your Infusionsoft app name. The next one is your Infusionsoft encrypted key. Now that's found inside of your account under the Infusionsoft menu. If you go to Admin and then go to Settings, and you scroll down, I'm sorry, go to the Application part of Settings, and then you scroll down, and to the bottom you'll see an API section, and there there is an encrypted key. And the encrypted key, if it's blank, if that field, if that encrypted key field is blank, then you'll need to enter a passphrase here, whatever password you want to come up with, and press save, and then that encrypted key will be filled in, and you just copy it to your clipboard, double click it to highlight it, copy it to your clipboard, and then you'll be able to paste it right back in into this section of the form. The last item is the contact owner user ID. This is a numeric value, it's not an email address. This is also found in your Infusionsoft app. If you go to the Infusionsoft menu and the admin section, Users, here you can find a list of users in your account. And you can choose one of them to be the default owner for any new contacts that get added to your contact database when Time Fusion appointments are set up. In my case, if I choose myself, as the contact I want to be the default owner, then my user ID was one. And that field, that value could be entered right here under the contact owner user ID. That's the three fields that you'll need to submit for registering for Time Fusion. Thanks everyone.